Good morning. For today's video, our topic is subtracting similar fraction with regrouping. What is similar fraction? Similar fraction is a fraction with the same denominator. For example, two fifths, one fifth, and three fifths. They are similar fraction because their denominators are the same, and that is five. Now, let's talk about the problem of Mateo. Mateo bought 5 and 3 fifth kilograms of sugar. He used 3 and 4 fifths kilograms in making leche plan. How many kilograms of sugar were left? Again. Mateo bought 5 and 3 fifths kilogram of sugar. He used 3 and 4 fifths kilogram in making leche plan. How many kilograms of sugar were left? First question, who bought sugar? Yes, you are correct. Mateo bought sugar. But how many kilograms of sugar did he buy? Very good. He bought five and three fifth kilograms. What did he make from the sugar? Excellent. He made leche plan. Now, Mateo has a problem. He wants to know the total kilograms of sugar left. Can you help Mateo in solving his problem? Yes? Oh, that's great. Let's help Mateo in solving his problem. But before that, let us first discuss and review what are the steps in subtracting similar fraction. Step 1. Subtract the whole numbers. If the given fraction is a mixed number. Step number 2. Subtract the numerator. If the numerator in the minuend is smaller than the numerator from the subtrahend, borrow one from the whole number. Step number three. Copy the denominator. And step number four. Express your answer to its lowest term, if needed. Step number one, subtract the whole numbers. Five and three, four, uh, three fifths, sorry, minus three and four fifths. The whole number here is five and the three. The numbers that is in color red. So five, Minus 3, the answer is 2. Very good. Now, let's subtract the numerator if the numerator in the minuend is smaller than the numerator from the subtrahend, borrow 1 from the whole number. Now, 
let's identify first which of which is the minuend and the superhand. So in this case, our minuend is the numerator number three. And our subtrahend is the numerator four. Three minus four, oops, cannot be. So we need to borrow one from the whole number. And what is the whole number? That is the answer that we get when we subtract the whole numbers in step number one. And that is two. So that's why two minus one is equal to one. So again, we borrow one pool to our pool number. So let's proceed. Three fifths is our mean duet. So we need to add five fifths to make it eight fifths. Now, where, where do we get five fifths? Five fifths is the equivalent fraction of one pool that we borrowed from two. That's why three plus five, we get eight. And then copy the denominator. Is that here? Okay, that's good. Now, let's proceed. In subtracting the numerator. So 8 fifths minus 4 fifths. 8 minus 4, the answer is 4. Step number 3. Copy the denominator. And because 8 fifths and 4 fifths are similar fraction, it means they have the same denominator, and their denominator is 5. So we get 1 and 4 fifths. So 5 is our common denominator. For step number 4, express your answer to its lowest term. Since that our fraction is 4 fifths, and they are consecutive number, so it means that four fifths is is already in lowest term. So the final answer here is one and four fifths kilograms of sugar. So that's the answer for Mateo's problem. Always remember, similar fraction is a fraction with the same denominator. And the steps in subtracting similar fractions are, first, subtract the whole numbers. Number two, subtract the numerator. If the numerator in the minuend is smaller than the numerator from the subtrahend, borrow one from the whole number. Step number three, copy the denominator. And step number four, express your answer to its lowest term. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like. Comment, share, and subscribe. Bye.